Hello, this is Rafa. Welcome to another page in my homesteading diary. Hello, hi. You are just in time. I'm getting ready to go harvest some broccolinis. Finally, I've been waiting and watching for the longest time. Let's head over there and do it. I thought broccolini was a young broccoli. Turns out it's actually a hybrid. It's a totally different crop. It is a combination of the broccoli that we're familiar with and an Asian broccoli. I'm harvesting these a little bit past the ideal window, as I'll show you in a minute. They're beginning to flower. I waited because my children were coming to visit me this past weekend and I wanted them to see what I had growing. And so now that that's over and done with, I'm ready to go on and get these harvested. What we're going to do is come in and we're going to just go a little bit down. I'm gonna go like an inch or two down. Uh-uh. An inch or two down. And snip at an angle. Snipping at an angle. I planted these October 5th. They were starters that I got from Lowe's and I've been watching them for weeks. I'm gonna come up some at an angle, just like that. talk a little bit about the broccoli. So, unlike broccoli, it keeps a more open head. It's not, the head will never get as big and tight as broccoli does. Nutrition wise, it's not as nutritious as the broccoli that we're familiar with. However, it's not far behind. Still very healthy for us. In 1993, Japanese scientists created what we refer to today as broccolini, and we can find it in stores year-round, although most of it is produced in California and Mexico. Now, as I stated earlier, there, it, nutritious wise, um, the broccoli tends to have an advantage, although the lead for the broccoli is so small that it's not enough to discredit us liking and consuming the broccolini. Both of them have very high levels of vitamin A and C, and both of them are very good sources of fiber, which promotes the growth of good bacteria in our intestines and stomach. Broccolini also helps to cleanse and detox the liver. Overall, it's a great source to add to our plates. Broccoli leaves get a lot bigger than the leaves of the broccolini. Also, the florets are very tight and the head gets a lot bigger than a broccolini's head will ever get. The stalk is very thick in comparison and chunky. Broccoli tends to taste like cabbage, whereas broccolini tends to taste like asparagus. This is broccoli rabe. Although it has little florets that resemble broccolini, you'll notice that the leaves are totally different. 
Also, it has a totally different taste profile. It's not a brassica at all. It's actually in the turnip family. Now, uh, let me see. These look good right here, okay? But some of them were starting to have like a yellow, a yellow tint to them. Let me see if you could see that. I'm not sure. Some of them was, were starting to have like a yellow tint to them, and that's because they were getting ready to flower. Here I have one that had started to flower. See the little yellow buds right there? Well, not buds, the little flowers, yellow flowers right there. That's perfectly fine. Here's another, here's another one that was starting to uh, open up. I only planted six, so it's not a huge harvest, but it's enough for me and my husband for this evening, and I'm fine with that. Um, you can eat all parts of it. That's why I wasn't really concerned about it opening up. Uh, until I started growing them, I hate to admit this, but I didn't even know that what we were eating was, gone, was actually the flower part of the broccoli, which is crazy because when you buy it in the store, it says broccoli florets. It just didn't register. Anyways, you can eat the flowers. You can eat uh, these tight little pods. You can eat the leaves and you can eat the stalks. Um, the bigger leaves, let's see, like the bigger leaves, you can chop those up and cook them just like you would cabbage or spinach or collard greens and they taste delicious as well. I started to leave one that was flowering so that it could dry up and I could collect the seed because I was actually having a hard time finding broccolini seeds online. However, I decided, as you can see, to just go on and harvest all of them. What I have left behind are these little shoots here. If you can see, it's gonna produce shoots. It's a come again type vegetable. And so when these shoots come up, what I took off was the center, obviously. And when these side shoots come up, we see that in the store referred to as broccoletti. So it'll be a few more weeks before I get to harvest again. This is what I buy from the store, broccoletti. Loved it, loved it, loved it. But I think I'm gonna love my own much better. Ta-da! It's the little things in life. I'm looking for the goodness. I'm gonna head inside and get these prepared. What I will do is soak them in some baking soda, vinegar, and water for about an hour, just to make sure I get rid of any little insects or things that I can't actually see, or maybe even ones that I can see. But I'm gonna soak them for about an hour, then I'll prepare them for our meal tonight. What I love about broccolini is that it has a nice sweet taste. I love broccoli as well, but broccolini is slightly milder and sweeter in taste than broccoli is. I'm gonna steam these and we'll have it with some roasted baby potatoes and some salmon. Yummy! I'm so happy you decided to stop by today. If you like the video, don't forget to share it, subscribe, and comment. When you subscribe, please hit that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I decided to take you along with me into the kitchen as I prepare the broccolini, so come on. I'm adding just a little bit of water to the casserole dish so that when I cover it, it'll produce steam. And this is 
pink Himalayan salt with black pepper. I don't cook with measurements, so use the amount that suits your taste. Now I'm drizzling a little bit of olive oil. That can be omitted, but it's a health benefit, so why not? We need those good fats. Next, I cover the casserole dish with cling wrap. Press and Seal is the brand that I'm using here. Pop it in the microwave. And I'm going to cook it for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Ooh-wee! When I say this was an awesome meal, that is an understatement. We had salad greens from my garden, teriyaki salmon, roasted potatoes, crusty bread, and the feature broccolini. Yum, 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 yum. This channel promotes the goodness in life. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And above all, prosper and be in good health.